What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to upscale images using Python. So how to take an image with low resolution and increase the resolution by a factor of four. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to upscale images in Python today. For this, I've already prepared an image I want to work with, an image of an old guy that I found on Pixabay, so it's copyright free. And when we zoom in, you can see that we already see some pixels. Um, when we don't have the smoothing effect here, you can see that the resolution is not very high. I can right click the image, go to properties image, and you can see it has 640 times 427 pixels. So we're going to take this image and get four times the resolution. We're going to upscale it by a factor of four. And we're going to do that using this model here. So here we have the PyTorch model weights uh, from the real ESR GAN model. This is a generative adversarial network, again, but it's an enhanced super resolution GAN, so ESR GAN, um, and it's made for upscaling. So you can get these model weights from GitHub. You will find a link to this page in the description down below. Just go to the releases page of real ESR GAN, and then you can just look for um, x4 and then plus dot pth, and then you're going to find this link here, github.com, and then all of this real ESR GAN x4 plus PTH. So this is times four, a factor of four upscaling, we're going to use this model here, these model weights. So I'm going to close this now, I'm going to move to my coding directory. And here I already have these two files. So the model weights in the image, and now we're going to start by installing the packages for this video today, and then we're going to code the simple procedure. Now I am going to make a couple of comments uh, regarding the architecture and the functionality. But this video is not going to be to learn about the architecture, this is going to be just application. So we're going to load the model, we're going to apply it, we're going to set some parameters, but we're not going to discuss the methodology in detail here. So we're just going to use it. This is going to be focused on the application, not on understanding the architecture. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install a couple of packages, we're going to install basic SR for basic super resolution, we're going to install real ESR again, we're going to install pillow, we're going to install numpy and torch. So these are the packages that we're going to need for this video today. I already have them on my system. So I'm not going to install them. And once you have them just open up a new Python file, and we can start with the imports, we're going to import torch, we're going to import numpy as np, we're going to import from pillow image. And we're going to import from real or actually let's start with the basic SR first from basic SR architecture. So arts, we're going to import uh, from RRDBnet, which stands for residual in residual dense block network. Uh, basically, the idea is you have dense blocks with a lot of residual connections as far as I understand it, but I'm not an expert on this architecture. Um, import RRDB net. And then also from real ESR GAN, import real ESR GANner. So this is basically here we have the model itself, we could say, and here we have a framework that uses it, that uses the model. So what we're going to do now is we're going to load the model, we're going to load the parameters from the model uh, from the PyTorch file that we have, and then we're going to just create the model instantiate it with parameters. And then we're going to use um, this framework here to create an up sampler, and then we're going to just apply it. That's what we're going to do. So the model path is going to be our, um, our real ESR again, PTH file. And then we're going to say that the state dictionary. So what we want to load into PyTorch is going to be torch load model path. And map location is going to be torch device. Um, I think we can use the CPU here because it shouldn't be too much. You can also use your GPU if you want to uh, just I think CUDA should work here. Not sure about this, but I think just torch device CUDA should work. Uh, we're going to get a couple of warnings here because of some package version conflict. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say import warnings. This is of course, not a professional fix. This is just trying to make the video not so distracting. So I'm going to say warnings dot 
filter warnings and then ignore. So we're just going to ignore all the warning messages so that we have a clean output or no output at all. So we're going to load uh, this and in particular, we want to load the parameters and we want to smoothen them with an exponential moving average or we want to take the parameters that have a smooth exponential moving average applied to them. So we get params EMA and then we take the state dictionary and we say model is equal to RRDBnet. Uh, we're going to instantiate this model with the following parameters. We're going to say we want to have three input channels because we have RGB, red, green, blue. We want to have three output channels because the output is also RGB. So we have an image as an input and we have an image as an output. So three and three. We want to say that the feature maps of the first um, of the first layer are going to be 64. We want to have 64 feature maps. We want to have 23 of these, uh, sorry, number block, 23 of these uh, residual in, residual out, uh, dense block things. So we want to have 30, uh, 23 such blocks. Um, and then we also want to specify the number of growth channels. This basically means how many more feature maps we're going to add um, in every layer. So we want to add 32 per layer and we want to define the scale. This is the most important one to be four. We want to have an upscaling factor of four. And then we say model dot load state dictionary uh, state dict and then strict is equal to true. So this loads the model parameters from the PTH file into our model here. And with that, we can go ahead and create an upsampler using the framework. So upsampler is going to be equal to real ESR Ganner. And we're going to say, of course, the scale is four. Come on, what kind of auto completion is this? Uh, model path is equal to model path. Why do I get scale all the time? I need to fix this. My Neovim config is not ready to use yet. So model is going to be equal to model. No, I don't want to use scale. Thank you. Um, tiling is going to be disabled. The idea of tiling is you can have very large images that you split into tiles and then you process them individually. We're going to not do that because our image is not very, um, very large. Then we're going to say pre padding is also zero. We don't want to do any padding before we do the processing. And we're going to use half precision floating point numbers just to save some uh, memory and also increase uh, the, the performance or to speed up the computation. So that is our up sampler. And now all we have to do is load the image by saying image is equal to image open image JPEG. In our case, we convert this to RGB red, green, blue. And then we turn this into a NumPy array by saying that it's going to be NP array of image. And then we say the output is going to be we're going to have a, an empty placeholder here for the return value. The output is going to be up sampler dot enhance the image. And we're going to say outscale one more time is equal to four. And then the output image is going to be equal to image. So pillow image from array, because the result is also going to be an umpire array from array output. And then output image is going to be saved onto the disk as output dot JPEG, or actually let's go with PNG. All right, so let's save this and let's run this now. If I didn't make any mistakes, this should work, take some time and hopefully we then see the result. So let me open up Nautilus here. Uh, actually, now this opens up Nautilus. Yeah, okay, let's just switch to this. Um, so when I open the image, the original one, you can see it has some pixels here. When I open the output image, you can see that the resolution is much better. I have to zoom much more into the image to get the same uh, pixel effect. So I have roughly the same zoom right now, maybe like this. This has much better resolution. Now you can see it looks a little bit cartoonish, so it's not going to look perfect. But this is way better than the upscaling that we had like uh, 
before models like this. Now, this model is from 2021, so it's not super new. But 10 years ago, upscaling was very, very bad. And this is pretty, pretty decent. So the guy doesn't look very different, I would say. I mean, a little bit, maybe a little bit more ca cartoonish. But it is the same guy, but with better resolution. So yeah, this is how you can do simple image upscaling in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.